Hi Scorpio, this is a general love reading for December 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so not going to resonate for all of you, so you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. And the roles can be reversed. So let's see, what is the major theme here for Scorpio in December? Actually, it's for the first half of December. It may run through the whole of December, but most likely going to be the first half. Oh, we have divine timing. Okay, so I feel like this is an indication that things are actually running on time. All right, for you. You might not be aware of that, but things are happening in the way that they should. Things are aligned and things need to play out in a certain way and happen at a certain time. So let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2020. Okay, so for your situation, we have the Ten of Wands crossed by the Five of Pentacles. Oh, okay, that's a little heavy here. In the recent past, we have the Hierophant. Coming up in the near future, we have the Three of Pentacles. For your energy, we have the Page of Cups. For them, we have the Knight of Swords. More about you, we have Judgment. For them, the Knight of Cups. Potential outcome here. The Two of Swords and a final message for you is strength. Okay, so yeah, things are, I see now why this Divine Timing card came out. This is to support you and Spirit letting you know that things are running on schedule. Just as I said, it feels like for you, it doesn't feel like it at all, actually. Um, you're, you're feeling very exhausted, you're feeling very tired, you feel like either you've been abandoned or that your person just isn't really there in some way or that this just isn't working out somehow. So for most of you, I feel like you, you're you not really together possibly or you just kind of feel like you're left out in the cold in some way and this is getting to be very exhausting for you. Um, there was definitely something there in, in the in the past here with the higher vent. I feel like for, for some of you it could be it could have been a very strong commitment for others of you if it wasn't much of a commitment there was just a, you feel like there's a very deep spiritual bond and I feel like your person feels that as well okay because this is mutual here the way I'm seeing it you are really processing your emotions at this time your person here they have okay so for you yeah you're really processing your emotions and you are having a lot of self-awareness going on right now you're learning a lot about yourself is what I'm getting here you are tapping in more and more into your spirituality and into your higher self some of you you might you might be trying to make a decision We'll see, but for your person, I mean, they have two knights here. So I do see them having some movement. They are taking some action here. There is something that is going on. And they do have this, um, they do carry this love for you. All right, with the Knight of Cups, they have feelings for you. So we'll see, because uh, I am seeing you know, for December, things might still feel a little bit um, unresolved to some extent, or you might not be able to see just what is going on, okay, for the first half of December, okay, but you have strength here supporting you. This is this is the, your guidance and just an extra message for you, okay? You're stronger than you think. That's already coming through right now. 
And this might even be part of your lesson here, is to find that strength within you to get through a very difficult time period where, you know, there are certain things that you just don't know. So let's get into the details. Priestess, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Wands again. Yeah, this is weighing very, very heavy on you. You're thinking about the past. I feel like you, again, with the High Priestess here, you're really trying to tap into your intuition to try to figure this out, to figure out what it is that's going on. Um, you know, you might be, you know, pretty much turning to a higher power to help you understand what is going on here. And I feel like you just, you know, the way things are presenting themselves to you, it's making you feel less than hopeful. And it might be keeping you in a, in a depressed type of a state. Or if you're not, if you're not depressed, it's just kind of, you know, having really major downs in your ups and downs. Like your downs are more, more frequent and more intense than your ups. And, you know, part of this, this might be part of what is blocking you from being able to find your balance. All right, so let's see. I mean, we've already established this was, this was a very spiritual connection here for most of you. Let's see, let's see more about you. Let's see that page of cups. first three so we have the eight of pentacles the nine of swords and the devil yeah see so this is pretty much what i just said you're you keeping yourself in this stressed state having those downs and you know be just allowing yourself to like delve too deep into them that is what is causing you to be in this in this state it's a, it could be a little bit of overthinking, overanalyzing, maybe with the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. It's like you're trying too hard to figure it out. You are processing your emotions, but it's like, I feel like your emotions are taking over. So really, you know, the, I feel like, you know, things are going to be better than what you think, okay, because it, it just feels like you're in a very, like, pessimistic type of a, of a mood here. This is actually pretty similar to Cancer. But then again, you know, um, the elements tend to be similar to one another. Let's see, let's see for them, let's see this Knight of Swords. What are they actually doing? The <laughs> first card that flew out for clarifying was the Knight of Swords, again. So this is just confirmation that, yeah. Wow, guys, look at that. Clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Sun. This person is definitely doing something. You probably just don't know about it because otherwise I can't explain why you are feeling the way you're feeling here. Okay, your person is taking action. Your person has a lot of deep feelings for you, okay? There's a lot of love, there's a lot of deep feelings, and I feel like what they're doing is they're taking action that is leading them towards happiness, towards fulfillment, towards this love, because they do have these emotions for you. Okay, let's see this judgment for you. Okay, Eight of Swords, <laughs> not surprised. The Knight of Cups and Strength. 
Yeah, see, so I told you this strength is, is what you are being called to have right now. This is something that you're learning. You're learning, you're not learning how to be strong. You are strong. You are learning how to find that strength, okay, within you. You are learning how to take care of your own self, how to be that, that knight of cups at the moment to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. I feel like you're being very harsh to yourself and you're letting your emotions as well as your thoughts take over like your whole, your whole being right now. And, you know, that's, that's part of learning. That's, that's part of, you know, finding your strength, going through that. But, you know, once you become more and more aware of that, that's when you'll be able to come out of that sooner. And again, because we do have judgment, this is what you're learning, okay? You are tapping into your higher self through this but and I, yeah and that's what you're learning is how to be more gentle with yourself how to be more kind to yourself not only expecting that treatment from others but also giving it to your own self from you i also get here that you you're feeling like you really just don't think that there's any way that this person is coming towards you okay um and again you're learning how to find that strength to be able to deal with that, with that possibility, even though I don't see that actually happening. It's like you still have to learn how to have that strength regardless. And you are learning it. You, you are being strong. It's just hard to see that when you're, when you're in this really um, pessimistic type of an energy here. But I do think you're, you're coming out of it, all right? Judgment is always a very positive card. All right, so let's see that Knight of Cups for them. All right, we have the Moon, the Nine of Wands, and the Lovers. There's something here that they're that they're possibly not telling you, something that they're not being very transparent about. And whatever that is, it's because it's very difficult for them to tell you, or it's it's just something very difficult that they're going through. Alright, maybe some of you are not in contact. But regardless, it's they're going through something that is very difficult. It's going to be different for all of them. But even though they're going through something that's very difficult. They still have these emotions for you and they're still taking that action towards that, towards those emotions, following those emotions, which is guiding them towards you, right? The lovers here. I actually feel like you've had a very similar reading before. Like this is, I have the sense that I've said very similar things to Scorpio before. Let me know if you've been following my channel for a while. Please let me know. I could be wrong. All right, so yeah, let's see what's coming up. Let's see this Three of Pentacles for your near future. The Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So there's going to be a collaboration of some sort. It, it, it could be either between the two of you. I feel like whatever it is, it's kind of like, I'm actually getting that this is you, the two of you working together, even energetically. For some of you, it's going to be energetically, like your higher selves are working together to bring this to, to bring you two together um, in the 3D. But it's, there's still something, again, this Ten of Swords, I'm feeling like it has to do with your person. There's something very challenging that they are encountering at the moment in their lives. You may or may not know about it. And it, even if you do know about it, I feel like they don't talk about it much if you are in, if you are in contact with them. But I feel like there's going to be some kind of a collaboration between the two of you, um, either in the 5D or even in the 3D for some of you. So you may, if you're not in contact, you may have some kind of a communication. 
And for others of you, it might just be kind of like actually, you know, figuring certain things out. Let's see. Two of Swords. Some of you might, this might even be outside help for some of you, either for you or your person. Getting some help in order to put something, something to an end in order for this to come together. Okay, so for the Two of Swords, we have the Hierophant, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles again. I'm telling you, there's some, some kind of a collaboration here between the two of you. I don't know if you work together or if you're going to work together, but something. I feel like that is going to be emphasized coming up in the future. It's like, I feel like you, it's like you're going to come together even if things aren't 100% resolved, is what I'm getting here. This is, I mean, this higher thing is showing up again. Definitely a very spiritual bond here. Okay, so I don't feel like it's a fling or something like that, or even if it was, there's definitely something more to this that goes a lot deeper. All right, but there's going to be some kind of a coming together here, working together possibly, and it's going to work out. It's just that things might not be 100% resolved. Yeah. Okay, so let's see strength for your... Final message here, and if it if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Star. Yeah, so look at that. You're being you're being divinely guided. You have you have a lot of guidance. All right, from the divine here. The divine is really stepping in. Like I I'm seeing divine energy like all over the place here actually, with the higher fence, two higher fence, with judgment, with the star, that divine timing. Um, I feel like you just have to kind of unblock your own mind, not allowing your mind and your emotions, your deep emotions to just take over and block, block out the divine here. But you, you are being called to be strong. You have that strength, okay? Things, again, very similar, very similar to Cancer. Deep connection, okay? This is... Again, with the Two of Wands, I feel like, yeah, you know, it, it does seem like it's taking a while, but things are moving in that direction. There is hope here, for sure. And, I mean, that Four of Wands is just, is just beautiful energy. So, all right. So let's see. We're going to get an Oracle message for you to close out the reading. Could be just anything you need to hear right now. just went away, <laughs> fell under the desk. All right, we got two. We have which the magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. Okay, and detox, cleanse and restore yourself. Yes, definitely do that. This means detoxing your mind as well. Okay, do anything that is going to help you to relax, to clean your energy, clear your energy, you know, whether that be even the food that you're eating, what are you drinking? the people that you are coming into contact with. Are they toxic? Are they intoxicating your energy or draining your energy? Um, do anything to detox, but I'm mostly getting that this is for your mind. Okay? Let it flow. All of those answers that you seek, they're inside of you, and it doesn't even matter. Just let it flow because things are moving in the right direction here, and you will be guided. All right. So, Scorpio, those were your messages. I hope this made sense. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.